Five Points Gaming here, and we are going to do this now. And we have another tutorial, this time around repeatable ways to score, especially with the solo skater. I showed some of these moves in my All Deeks tutorial. I wanted to give you a very detailed breakdown on how to score, especially on breakaways. And here, this is a short side breakaway without a deke. So all you have to do is move the right stick slightly to the left as you're coming in and shoot the puck and you want to aim up into the left uh, sort of in the top left corner and this is where you want to start the move with that slight right stick to the left right there in between the crease and the hash marks and it's pretty money it's not automatic it doesn't happen every time now here is the same sort of theory but this time we're going to add a little deke here sometimes the goalie doesn't move on that little slight um sort of moving the puck away from the goalie and you're gonna need to move them yourself and that's where you're gonna use the right stick there see the telemetry on the bottom right I deke them to the right here for just a second and then turn it over to the left and shoot it again aiming to the top left corner of the goal as I come in here here look at Lundqvist he drops he thinks it's gonna be a glove uh, hand side or backhand shot to his glove he goes down Kreider gets around him you know, it, it's very, that's the most devastating move. Again, it's not automatic. This is what the goalie sees. This is what you probably see when somebody does it to you. Uh, here's a backhand breakaway without a deke. Sort of the same theory as the first goal that you saw. Again, you're skating towards um, the near post. This is very important that your angle is almost perp is perpendicular to the red line. And you just come in, You again, you move your stick away. There's no deke involved here. You move your stick away slightly and then you shoot just up or you can shoot up into the top right of the net. Either way, it's just a really quick move, requires a lot of practice, but again, I'm skating towards the post that's nearest to me and there's a quick move and a shovel into the net. Very devastating goal. Here's another variation of this. We're gonna add a leg kick. We're just gonna press down on the right stick and get Lundqvist to fall down for a second there. Watch here. When I do the leg kick, his pads are gonna drop. He's gonna drop because he thinks I'm gonna take a five hole shot and I just turn it over and shoot. Not a complicated move here, but again, it takes timing. I'm gonna start it right at the bottom hash there and then uh, push it right into the net. Here's a back backhand, backhand breakaway with the deke. Again here, I'm gonna use the right stick Fake the goalie out this time. It's sort of like the leg kick, but look, I go right, left, and in. This, again, requires practice and timing. If you look at the telemetry, a <laughs> lot going on there. So I go quickly left on the right stick, and then both sticks come over to the right. And then, of course, I'm aiming up and to the right. Again, it's, it's about three different moves in one. You've got to practice that. Now, this is very similar to the first short side goal that I showed you, but the angle that you approach is very different. A lot of times a defender will try to force you to the outside and many times a defender is in uh, between you and the goalie when this goal is happening. And it's very simple again, but now I'm cutting here with the angle. There's no deke. Again, I just move the right stick slightly to the left and shoot, aim up and to the left all at once. See, it's very skill oriented here. You can't just mail it in or or think that you can get this goal and here, here's what it looks like when it gets done to you but again you have to practice these moves they're not automatic they don't happen every time uh, a lot of times a goalie will take away that short side but this is the angle that you're given here's the shot with a deke and this is a very fun shot to do because uh, you right stick here yep, and then turn it over to the left and it's very important that you get that puck across your center and to the left. I like to use the hash marks as my guide when I'm going essentially parallel to the net. Again, you just flip it over and here's a variation. You can take it right, left, and then cut across the crease and backhand it in, which is again devastating. A lot of times what will happen is the defender will jump out and try to take away the short side. And when he does that, you come across the net and put it in the goal. But a lot of times that goal itself is not available. Now here's a, some wristers here. These are not deke moves. These are wristers. Here's a short side wrister. I, this was very money 
last year in NHL 15. It's still there. It's very important, but it has to co kind of originate from either around the dot or in the corner here. And you have to move the goalie before you can shoot this and sort of curl it around that inside post. See, here when you look at Henrik Lundqvist, uh, let me get in closer just a little bit here. I got to wait until he moves before I can see. It's like, no, 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 no. There it is. And the no, 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 no. And the top right corner opens up with that little triangle. Here again, if you, you can also come around the dot. The real thing is, is when you're coming towards the goalie, you need to move him so that he gives you that area to put the puck. Here's a variation of that goal as well. It's kind of like a wraparound, but it really is not. Uh, I switched to Zuccarello for this because he's kind of good at this shot. He can jam it up. But here I get really close to the crease and I'm jamming my left stick up and to the right while I shoot. <laughs> so again, I can move the goalie to open up that slight little, see, see how he moved a little bit to the left? That's what I'm waiting for. Sometimes he doesn't move and you just don't get that goal. But you want to wait for him to move and give you that. Here's a cross crease slapper. This one, or this is the inside the hash marks. What's really very important detail here is this is not going to work unless you get around the dot to the right. It just doesn't work if you try to cut corners and get inside the dot. You know, uh, if you try to get lazy, you've got to go, you got to be moving parallel to this goalie and it's got to be around the dot for whatever reason. Here, again, Kreider, he's just moving parallel inside the hash marks. It's an easy slapper, but again, I'm aiming up and to the left. Watch, I'm skating across, but as soon as I take the shot, watch it change from there to slightly up and to the left, and that is what gets it into the goal. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Five points, I'm out.